to our recap on RuPaul's Drag Race. This is season nine, episode three, and it is titled Draggly Ever After. Draggly Ever After. I feel like they had a um, episode titled um, the same in the past. I don't know. I've oh. never paid attention to episode names until recently. You're talking so quietly, like a mouse. Alrighty, so let's just jump on in. So, um, the episode started with their new um, challenge, which was to create an original fairy tale princess. Yes. And a sidekick. Okay. So, um, I thought like that was an interesting whole storyline for them to do. Um, in addition to that, we got to see that these queens are coming to the show still not knowing how to sell. Yes, for me, that is strange because this is season nine, so I believe that translates into the show being in existence for nine years. And we know that every challenge um, pretty much has the queens making their own garments. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm not sure how do you sign up um, put your entry in to be a part of RuPaul's Drag Race and not know how to sew because I believe it was Pheromone yeah, it was and yeah. Kimora, Black. Kimora Black could not sew. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Pheromone just flat out can't do anything when it comes to <laughs> making something. Kimora, I'm not sure if she really can't or if she's trying or if she's trying to ride with this. Oh, I'm a diva, diva princess. Right. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm above that. Because she did say, um, this is not America's next top sweatshop. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. was so dry. It like, was dry. It, there, there was no punchline with that. And she also talking about, was Kim Kardashian, was she sew her own dress? She's not Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and Kim Kardashian is not on a reality show where she is competing to be okay. um, the next big star. She has her own okay. show okay. where she is the star. Now, I liked, I was trying to like Kimora because I mm -hmm. thought she was cute a, a little bit. Uh huh. But this episode just made me dislike her so much. Um, I don't like that all that whole persona that she plays up. Yeah, I, I do think it's it. played up, uh, and I don't think that's genuinely who she is. Um, but I think when people have some type of insecurity, they attach mm -hmm. themselves to some kind of personality, and they just run with that, and I guess it's, Mm -hmm. A protective barrier, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But while the ladies were preparing for um, the this challenge, time. we got into we, the... I, well, I'll reword it. Um, every episode, it seemed like they're bringing something of some type of depth mm -hmm. um, versus, versus, versus it being just a beauty type of pageant. Mm -hmm. And so um, the queens began to talk about the um, Orlando Massacre uh, that happened at Pulse right. Nightclub um, in reference to the shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that was, it was Latin night at the club, but it was also a night where they have drag performers. So mm -hmm. um, of course the, the Queens began to ask, was anybody um, present or Affected had any- personally. Uh, exactly. Or, um, so we got to see that. Alexis Michelle, I think said that she was supposed to perform or she performed the week before trinity it was trinity mm -hmm. okay so why'd you let me keep on talking then if it was if it wasn't mm -hmm. alexis i didn't know what you was about to say so oh, okay. trinity taylor is the mm -hmm. one who said that she performed the week before oh you're right it is mm -hmm. trinity trinity that, got some high cheap bone <laughs> work stuff that's trinity yes yeah mm -hmm. um, was, but trinity performed the week before yes yeah, she, she performed the week before and yes. she knew somebody who one of her co-workers daughters, daughters. actually died mm -hmm. um in the massacre um, Cynthia Lee, Lee Fontaine, Fontaine, yes. Baby, when she spoke about that, tears rolled down my eyes because mm -hmm. of um, the fact that she, she said she had a friend who called her from the club mm -hmm. that night because that was her, her original performance date, mm -hmm. but she rescheduled it and she said that her friend was killed and the friend only showed up to the club that to night see to see her perform, mm -hmm. um, but the friend wasn't aware that she rescheduled and you know, she said she asked the friend, are you gonna stay or are you gonna leave because since I'm not there, and the friend said, you know, I think it'll be cute, so I'll stay. Mm -hmm. So that just had tears running down my face because it's just like never to know. know that 
um, somebody was present in, they, in that atmosphere because of you. And not mm -hmm. saying that it's Cynthia Lee Fontaine's oh, um, no. fault, but I, I, I could feel the hurt that she probably felt mm -hmm. just thinking about the fact that if I wasn't scheduled to perform, would my friend have died? Well, that would have been like guilt. Yeah, she the guilt, like, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, the guilt. So, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really the episode until you got into the runway. Yeah, the challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before so. we even get into the challenge and <laughs> the drag performers and their 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 glam and everything else, That's what I, I lack want thereof. the lack thereof. Yes. No. Those faces. I didn't have any lack. I had more than enough because my boo Cheyenne was present. That's who I wanted to talk about. That's all. <laughs> I love Cheyenne. I've That's always... my boo. He's so gorgeous. If I wasn't married and he wasn't married, we would be married. Okay. Well, we could all be married because I wanted to be. I wanted him to be married to Matt Bomer. You know Matt Bomer? Yes, I do. I wanted them two to be married. But that has nothing so to do with but, being married to me. So. But I'm talking about all four of us could have been married. Oh. Oh, that would be cute. It's some other people, but them four, we would have started with us four. <laughs> okay. A foursome yeah. marriage. Yeah. Okay, I'm down for that. Especially when Cheyenne is involved. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> Cheyenne, that's all I, I care about. I mean, we did have Todrick Hall as a judge, as a guest judge. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I like Todrick. We're going to see him next week, but yeah. I, I love Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the Queens <laughs> and the runway. <laughs> well, um, let's talk about who you liked first. Okay, I know off the top of my head that I love Charlie Hyde. I mean, I feel like that goes without saying at this uh, point. Charlie is always going to that get copper, seasoned. That copper gown. <laughs> he is a seasoned queen. Mm -hmm. He knows how to execute a look. Um, it was just beautiful. Like I felt like that was the most cleanly executed look. Princess Clanaxica. Princess Climaxica. Mm -hmm. I love that. Living mm -hmm. for that, I love Charlie Hyde. My second fave was Alexis Michelle. Um, mm -hmm. While I feel like Charlie Hyde brings a beautiful, clean, well-finished look, um, his looks are never, well, so far it hasn't been super, super surprising. Beautiful looks, right. well I thought agree. out, very I themed, agree. but not super surprising like... Oh, uh, bitch. Yeah, like 10, like you win today. Yes, yes. But beautiful nonetheless. Yes, but Alexis Michelle, the colors and then the glitz and then the shell, the, the, the seashells and um, the starfish and all of that. I thought that look was beautiful. The makeup was on point. The makeup the, 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 the crown of whatever she had on her head was everything. I live. She gave me Michelle Versace. Massage. Massage in the right. face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love Alexis Michelle. Um, my third was Shea Coulee, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shea Coulee. I love the gown. That's what I really liked about it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I really liked her gown. And honorable mention. Nina, oh, I'm, I, my Nina. honorable mention is Nina Bonina because of her sidekick. Um, I felt like her her look was executed well, but that sidekick was everything. That um, Tin Man little it, it was called Ink. It Ink was a the robot. robot. Yes, with the with the big boobs just bouncing now, the whole time. I liked how I, I love that. That I liked was her amazing sidekick too because it, it it reminded you so much of, of her. Who Nina like, Bonina is. And I like, felt like. Um, that was a true mini me versus yes. most most of the queens had just a sidekick that didn't represent them, but mm -hmm. I felt like that was a mini me to Nina Bonina Brown. Mm -hmm. Well, Nina Bonina Osama bin Laden Brown, as she likes well, to call she herself. She was Pinkett Smith um, tonight, according to RuPaul. RuPaul, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that correlation, but I didn't either. I guess think she's just throwing names out there now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I thought. Uh, Pheromone's face was beautiful. She wasn't my she wasn't my top. Pheromone's face girls. is always beautiful, and I think I said to you while we were watching the show, she's going to last a while just, just because off of, off of her beauty alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my favorites, uh, Charlie Hyde yes. goes without saying. Um, uh, Shea Coulee, yes. uh, we were in agreement with that one. Mm -hmm. um, I liked Valentina. Valentina was gorgeous. Yes, Princess she's Zira. Just, yeah, she was gorgeous. Um, it just not. I don't know. It just didn't catch my attention. It was. It was something I mean, where was, I would say. I, was, I would say it was pretty. Yeah. But I like who I like. Oh, mm -hmm. not not. I, I forgot to mention that I just talked about Alexis Michelle's headpiece and everything. But her little dress, little thingy, was cute too. I loved her dress. Alexis Michelle. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But back to your people. Trinity. Um, Trinity I like, was I like everything. Trinity. Trinity was everything. I think um, what the small issue with Trinity for me was her original gown that she pulled off was wasn't blah. as beautiful. It was just really blah. Yeah, but but when she had the tear away, when okay. that was off of her, mm-hmm. she was stunning. But yes. I think I I would have wanted that gown to that just first give you a little more. That first walkout to give me some more. Once she took that off, like you said, it was everything. It was everything. And her sidekick was really funny too. Yes, um, she had a starfish too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, not two. Um, she had a starfish, starfish, but Alexis and Michelle had starfish on her. So did or crabs. Well, a lot of them. A lot of the queens did under they under did the under sea. Under the sea. Yes. Pheromone did too. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But the starfish was funny. Um, yeah, I loved it. Um, I absolutely. My, I'm gonna tell you who my worst was. Who's absolutely, uh, Aja. Aja was the, the volcano banshee. Yes. I did not get what that theme was, what the concept was, where it was going. It was horrible. Horrid. But speaking of horrible, let's just go on into the uh, the battle. Okay. The battle was between Kimora, because she was horrible too, Kimora and Aja. Aja. Now, Aja was the absolute worst when it came when it comes down to what she styled herself in. Mm-hmm. Even down to her makeup. Her Oof, makeup was God. disgusting. Horrible. It was just ridiculous. It was a disaster, like it was, her name. Yes. It was it was uh, a mess. Uh, but baby, when it was time to lip sync for your life, Aja, you slayed, I don't even think okay. ten seconds had passed before I turned to you and said, Oh, this bitch is about to kill it. Yeah, she's she kill it. I mean her count from the beginning. She was in character. She knew the damn words. I said, Kamora, baby, you are pretty, but, but you are it. about to go, go home. Go home. Be pretty at home. At home. Bitch, as soon as First of all, all the other queens was in shock and um, disbelief when they called Aja's name instead of Farah. Yes, like, which I was oh confused I was like, because I'm like, um, why are y'all gasping for air? Because, right. <laughs> like I said, Farah's face is Alone. going to carry her, especially when a, a, a chick that you guys think or everyone thinks is more talented doesn't bring it with the look. Because before we even get to your talent, the we first thing see we you. see... Is you <laughs> when it comes to being a drag queen? Where is the queenliness? Right. But as soon as they call her baby, name, when I she tell you, on. she may have been, from what I could remember, my best and most favorite lip sync battle of all time. Mm. I think, I think, I, I just, I lived. I mean, we've had some great ones in the past, mm-hmm. but just that she was, I mean, first 10 seconds, she was just on it. And I love that she was prepared because like I said, she knew all of the words. Kamora didn't know the damn words. Oh God, she was, was dry as hell. I kind of felt like I knew um, Kamora was going to go home because the only reason why she beat uh, James Manfield last week was because James Manfield couldn't couldn't dance. Mm-hmm. And he got, it was right this time. But yeah, he was horrible. <laughs> yeah, so um, I guess that's pretty much it. Well, I'm, we didn't say Trinity won. Based on all the life we just gave Trinity, y'all know Trinity. <laughs> we know Trinity won the lip sync battle. Um, but wait, you saw how... Um, Eureka. To, yeah, Eureka. Yeah, she Baby, Eureka she, said, bitch, she you slayed. slayed. You did that, honey. Because mm-hmm. she killed it. Like, I was just shocked. Mm-hmm. Because for you, to look, for you to look that badly, love bug, I forgot what you had on and was just focused on your movements, like your counts, your dancing, your dips. Even when you dipped, you did not miss a single word. Mm-hmm. Everything Ooh. was in character and everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Like, that was great. That was a great, great lip sync. Well, I can't even say well, it was no, a great lip sync. Not was, the battle. Her performance. Her performance was, was, was great. Because the battle wasn't all that. The it wasn't no was battle. It wasn't, it wasn't theirs. <laughs> But anyway. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to our channel, comment in the comment section if there was anything that we forgot to mention about this episode. And bye. our recap on RuPaul's Drag Race. This is season nine. 
episode three, three, and it is titled Draggly Ever After. Draggly Ever After. I feel like they had a um, episode titled um, the same in the past. I don't know. I oh. never paid attention to episode names until recently. You're talking so quietly, like a mouse. Alrighty, so let's just jump on in. So, um, the episode started with their new um, challenge, which was to create an original fairy tale princess. Yes. And a sidekick. Okay. So, um, I thought like that was an interesting whole storyline for them to do. Um, in addition to that, we got to see that these queens are coming to the show still not knowing how to sell. Yes, for me, that is strange because this is season nine, so I believe that translates into the show being in existence for nine years. And we know that every challenge um, pretty much has the queens making their own garments. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm not sure how do you sign up um, put your entry in to be a part of RuPaul's Drag Race and not know how to sew because I believe it was Pheromone yeah, it was and Kamora Black. Kimora Black could not sew. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Pheromone just flat out can't do anything when it comes to <laughs> making something. Kamora, I'm not sure if she really can't or if she's trying or if she's trying to ride with this. Oh, I'm a diva, diva princess. I don't right. do that kind of stuff. I'm above that. Because she did say um, this is not America's next top sweatshop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was so dry. And it like, was dry. It, there, there was no punchline with that. And she also talking about, was Kim Kardashian, was she sew her own dress? She's not <laughs> Kim Kardashian. And Kim Kardashian is not on a reality show where she is competing to be okay. um, the next big star. She has her own okay. show okay. where she is the star. Now, I liked... I was trying to like Kimora because I mm -hmm. thought she was cute a, a little bit. Uh-huh. But this episode just made me dislike her so much. Um, I don't like that all that whole persona that she plays up. Yeah, I, I do think it's it. played up, uh, and I don't think that's genuinely who she is. Um, but I think when people have some type of insecurity, they attach mm -hmm. themselves to some kind of personality, and they just run with that, and I guess it's... Mm -hmm. A protective barrier, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But while the ladies were preparing for um, the this challenge, time. we got into we, the... Uh, well, I'll, I'll reword it. Um, every episode, it seemed like they're bringing something of some type of depth mm -hmm. um, versus, versus, versus it being just a beauty type of pageant. Mm -hmm. And so um, the queens began to talk about the um, Orlando Massacre uh, that happened at Pulse right. Nightclub um, in reference to the shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that was, it was Latin night at the club, but it was also a night where they have drag performers. So, mm -hmm. um, of course, the, the queens began to ask, was anybody um, present or Affected had any... Personally. Uh, exactly. Or, um, so we got to see that. Alexis Michelle, I think, said that she was supposed to perform or she performed the week before trinity it was trinity mm -hmm. okay so why'd you let me keep on talking then if it was if it wasn't alexis i didn't know what you was about to say so okay. trinity taylor is the mm -hmm. one who said that she performed the week before oh you're right it is mm -hmm. trinity trinity got some high cheap bone work <laughs> stuff that's trinity yes yeah mm -hmm. um, was, was trinity performed the week before yes yeah, she, she performed the week before and yes. she knew somebody who one of her co-workers daughters, daughters. actually died mm -hmm. um in the massacre um, Cynthia Lee, Lee Fontaine. Fontaine, yes. Baby, when she spoke about that, tears rolled down my eyes because <laughs> of um, the fact that she, she said she had a friend who called her from the club that mm -hmm. night because that was her, her original performance date, mm -hmm. but she rescheduled it and she said that her friend was killed and the friend only showed up to the club that to night see to see her perform, mm -hmm. um, but the friend wasn't aware that she rescheduled. And, you know, she said she asked the friend, are you going to stay? Or are you going to leave? Because since I'm not there. And the friend said, you know, I think it'll be cute, so I'll stay. Mm -hmm. So that just had tears running down my face because it's just like never to know, know that um, somebody was present in, they, in that atmosphere because of you. And not mm -hmm. saying that it's Cynthia Lee Fontaine's oh, um, no. fault, but I, I, I could feel the hurt that she probably felt mm -hmm. just thinking about the fact that 
if I wasn't scheduled to perform, would my friend have died? Well, that would have been like guilt. Yeah, See, the guilt, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, the guilt. So, so, so yeah. That was really the, the episode until you got into the runway. Yeah, the challenge. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before so. we even get into the challenge and <laughs> the drag performers and their, 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 their glam and everything else, I like the lack thereof. The lack thereof? Yes. No. Those faces. I didn't have any lack. I had more than enough because my boo, Cheyenne, was present. That's who I wanted to talk about. That's all. <laughs> I love Cheyenne. I've That's always... my boo. He's so gorgeous. If I wasn't married and he wasn't married, we would be married. Okay. 